there folks and welcome back to Space Engineers Survival. This episode we are going to try to block out our entire mining base and I've been mining off screen for quite some time and refining so we'll take a look at what we've got and we'll uh, start blocking out our mining base. The idea for the mining base is to kind of have a large platform and on that platform we'll have probably two or three refineries, one or two assemblers, and a lot of cargo containers. So we'll need all the materials that we need to make that. And I've pretty much mined everything we need except for silicon because I haven't been able to find silicon. So we're going to go out on a little exploration adventure to try to find some. So while I was off screen, I mined all sorts of ores and a whole bunch of iron as well. Um, the iron is sitting up in the assembler right now, and we're going to turn those into iron plates or steel plates. So we'll go to production, we'll make, I don't know, maybe, yeah, that should be enough. And while we're doing that, or while we're waiting for that to finish, we'll, whoops, don't need the gravel, we need the steel plates. Uh, we'll drop the nickel off in our cargo container. And what we'll do is we'll start blocking out our uh, our large station, or our mining station. So let's see here. And we'll want it to be all the same color. There we go. And let's see how big we can make this before we need to go back for more parts. Oh, there we go. Oop. Okay, so looks like we have, uh, see how many... Still have seven left, so I think we'll be able to place seven more blocks before we need to go back to our assembler to pick up our steel plates. Let's see here. Okay, we need some more, so we'll go back, and we don't even have to go inside, we'll just go to the outside part of the assembler and see how many have been made. 61, alright, awesome. I wonder if this is like in creative mode where you can just uh, press control and drag. I should see, can we do that? Or is that only... Nope, yeah, we can do that in this mode as well. It's just a little bit harder because the distance at which you can control uh, where the blocks are placed is a lot shorter than in creative mode. Let's see. And... Let's see here. I'm going to be able to place one there. Yep. So... Hopefully we'll be able to extend this out all the way out here so that we can have large ships eventually dock at our station. And this will actually be what we're making right now. It's going to be the interior portion where we have our cargo and whatnot. So let's uh, place a couple more blocks. Nope. They're going to probably have to fix this uh, distance at which you can place things because it's kind of tricky and glitchy at the moment. But... This is just the first iteration of the survival update, so I'm sure more patches are to come. Oh, come on, come on. There we go. Alright. Let us take a look at what else do we need. We want some refineries. And we'll want a small reactor as well, and some cargo con Well, we'll also want a medical bay and cargo containers. Oops, uh, let's see here. Switch to two. Hmm. Let's see if we can flip that. Let's see here. Where do we want to put this? Maybe in the corner over here. There we go. Let's see, then we're going to want maybe another one. We'll place that one right next to it. Uh, rotate it if we can. There we go. 
Whoops, I think that's rotated the wrong way. Let's see. There we... Well, come on. Behave. Behave! Hmm. Yeah, they're really gonna have to fix this placement of blocks. Uh, eh, whatever, we'll just do a reactor in the meantime while we struggle to <laughs> figure out how to work that. And then we'll place a cargo container. We'll need to rotate that the right way up. Need interior plate for that. Alright. Well, let's see. Maybe we can make some interior plates with that iron that we have. Let's fly on in here. One hundred and three. All right, production. Let's make some. Where are you? Interior plates. How many does it take to make? Oops, a cargo container. Well, it doesn't say, but I uh, will probably need quite a few of them. So I'll make. I don't know. Forty should be enough. Oh, sorry about that. Um, here we are. We'll just make a couple. Well, no, we don't need 200 of them. We'll make... Eh, 40 should be enough. I think we have some iron on us, so we'll put the iron in here. We'll take those. And now we'll go start building some of these blocks. Here. Well, we might, we might want. Uh, uh, uh. Let me see here. Should we? Sorry about that. We had a little bit of a technical issue, but uh, what we're going to do is we're going to build a little wall here, a little doorway, and that'll lead to the rest of our station. This is going to be our refining portion, and we're also going to have a little dock here for this smaller ship as well. And um, I'm gonna b just block this out off screen and show you what it's going to look like when we're done and then after that we'll uh, take a look and see what's refined and then we'll go look for silicon we'll go hunting for that so see you guys in a little bit all right folks we're back and uh, this is what I've done so far but uh, we need to get some energy for our suit because it's about to run out because uh, that's a thing now apparently all right we'll just recharge our suit here and then we'll go take a look and see what's refined see if we can uh, build any of those parts and then we'll go on a little adventure looking for some silicon so we can make uh, some of the parts that we need for our new station all right we're just about done let's see what is still refining at the moment We've got some nickel is still refining let's see what is in our assembler we have some interior plates, which is useful. And we also have a whole bunch of iron and nickel, which is good. Let's see here, we'll... Let's see, we don't need all of this, so I'll right-click and drag. Um, you can select the amount that you want. So I'll say... Eh, how about 14? Because I think we need 10, if I'm not mistaken. And we'll also leave our grinder... Well, I don't think we can leave our grinder behind there, because everything is full. Oh, not if I do this, though. And we'll go over to our assembler and place our nickel back in here. There we go. And we still have a couple interior plates in there. But let me show you what we've done with the uh, little asteroid mining base. So, right now we do have gravity, but it's just from the ship over there. So what we're going to have is we're going to have two assemblers here. And there's eventually going to be a roof on this, too. We have our little medical base so we can recharge. We have six storage containers for various things. And then we have two refineries, one power plant, and one gravity generator up top. And that's what's going to make up this part. And we also have a door here, and we also have a door here. This is just going to be a door to the outside. And this door over here is going to be a door to more storage and other things that we eventually will add on in the future. All right, so now let's go on a little, a little adventure and look for some silicon. I know for a fact that there isn't any silicon around here, so we're going to actually start exploring the other asteroids. 
Let's see here, we still have four hours of uh, fuel time left, which is good, and we have some stuff that's going to be refined in our reactor, or in our uh, refinery, as soon as the nickel and gold gets done refining. Let's see here, we can take a look at this big asteroid over here, or you know, it just looks like there's a little bit of iron on there, not too terribly much. Let's take a look at this asteroid over here. I'll turn off our inertial dampeners so we lose use less fuel. Let's uh, take a look. So it's in this big hole is where our main base is going to be. And we're still gliding in the correct direction. It looks like there's a little tunnel over here, so let's take a look and see if we can find some silicon in here. There's another asteroid over there we could take a look at if we don't have any luck here. Let's uh, turn our inertial dampeners back on to zero our velocity with the asteroid. Then we can turn our inertial dampeners off again. Because one thing you don't want to do is crash in this game, at least uh, not in survival, because it's very hard to replace anything if it gets damaged. And if I blow up my reactor here, well, I'm pretty much screwed, so let us tread lightly and see if we can find anything. All right, let's just exit the ship and the door. We'll equip our jackhammer so we can see. Oh, yep, there's silicon right there. Aren't we lucky? Turn on our light. Well, I'll uh, start mining this and we'll get a significant amount because we're going to need some silicon for our, not the conveyors, for the small cargo containers. The computers and the displays require silicon. In fact, let's just see how much silicon we will need. Because if I have a whole bunch of things queued up in the mining base, so let's go over here production so we know we're gonna need computers so silicon wafers it requires a lot of them we're going to need reactor components doesn't require any medical components doesn't or they don't require any either bulletproof glass if we want to make a mining ship so because that's part of the cockpit also we're gonna need some for displays which um, I believe everything uses displays pretty much everything does Let's see here. Yep, that requires displays. Uh, that doesn't require displays, but I think the computers still do require silicon. The gravity generator doesn't require one. Small reactor uh, doesn't look like it requires one. Refinery, doesn't look like it requires one. Assembler, it does. So we will need, we will need a little bit. So I'll just mine this off screen and then I'll meet back with you guys in a little bit. All right, and we're back. We harvested quite a bit of the silicon and we have 888 kilos of it. So that should be enough. So what we're going to do now, first close the door and we're going to make our way back to our home base, assuming we can. Hopefully we aren't lost. <laughs> and then we're going to start constructing some of the uh, pieces. We are in very, very short supply of uh, storage space, so I think that's going to be the very first thing that we construct when we get back. And then we'll start constructing some of the uh, base components for the, uh, for the mining base, such as the light armor blocks and whatnot. But for now, we'll just uh, we'll leave the refinery and the other things that require electricity. We won't uh, power those right away. Let's see here. Let's see. Is this this might be the place? I think it is. Is it? Yep. There it is. sure we don't crash. There we go. And it is handy having this ship because that uh, gravity generator really does help when constructing things. Alright, we'll make it 
sort of even, so it's not like walking on a odd surface. There we go. And let's see, we'll go in here, we'll pick up some of our components that we're going to use. We'll use some interior plates. We need those for... I believe we need those for the uh, cargo containers, which is what we want to build right away. And we'll bring out our handy dandy welder. Turn off our jetpack and see, yes we need interior plates, construction components, small steel tubes, motors, displays, computers, construction components again, and more interior plates. Okay, so it's going to take a while to finish these. I think we have some more of those kind, uh, interior plates in our assembler over here. Nope, but we do have construction components. Oh, that's right, the uh, interior plates were in our storage. Right. Let's see here. Gonna, yeah, okay, that doesn't hurt. I thought that I might uh, hurt myself with some fall damage, but apparently not. Yep, this is the one we're working on. Okay, so we need 11 more construction components. Actually, we need 16 more construction components and 6 more interior plates. Alright, we'll uh, queue that up on our assembler over here. Whoop! Don't want to fly away. Let's see here. We want 16 more. Well, oh, we have 4 more being built already. Um, so. 12 more of those. And we need. couple more of these. Eh, we'll need them for the other for the other ones as well. We also need these small steel tubes. And we need some computers and displays and whatnot, but we don't have that. But in the inventory, we do have some of these, so I might as well take that right away. And we'll hop on down and we'll at least finish one of these on screen. And then uh, off screen I'll finish the rest of them to save you the boring details of finishing the base. see here. Yep, that thing hasn't finished making our construction components yet. We still need six more interior plates. Let's see your motors. I think we have enough to make some motors in here. Let's see, what do motors require? Oops. Yeah, should, yeah, that's why I need to turn on my inertial dampeners. That's why I was flying around all over the place. So what does it take to make motors? Production motors. Cobalt, nickel, and iron. I think we have some cobalt in here. Nope, we don't. We must be still in our refinery. So we're going to have to wait on that. We also need displays and uh, computers. So, displays, we need gold, silicon, and iron. We have all of that. I think the silicon still needs to be refined yet. And what about computers? So we just need silicon and gold for computers. Alright. Well, I think off screen I'm going to get all the stuff we need to make some of these, and then after that I'll meet up with you in a little bit. Alright, it's been a while, and I've constructed all the components we need, and we have them in our inventory. So, well, that's not my inventory, this is my inventory. So we have our 22 construction components, we have 20 small steel tubes, our 6 interior plates, we have one display, and inside the assembler, because our inventory is full, we have two computers and two motors. So that should be enough to finish our one little storage container. And we're going to keep all of our um, construction components in this uh, cargo container, and we'll keep all of the ores and whatnot in the mining uh, cargo container up here, which is where we currently have just a whole assortment of everything at the moment, because we don't have any other storage. So here we go. These two things should finish it up, hopefully, assuming I didn't forget anything. 
And... It's done! We have our very first cargo container that we've made. So, right off, well, I'm not going to put that in off there, or in there off, right off the bat, but, uh... Because we can just... There we go. <laughs> so, now, for these things, we need, I think it's like 1,200 steel plates. So, that's another thing that we're going to be making. And for those refineries to work, we'll also need to make a... A uh, small reactor which requires 25 computers, 6 motors, 100 reactor components, 8 large steel tubes, 4 metal grids, 40 construction components, and 80 steel plates. And I think we do have enough material for all of that, but uh, I'm going to have to make that off camera because that's going to take a long time to make. So, let's see here. We're still refining all of our cobalt and our metals. Let's see here, we're running pretty low on fuel, I'm guessing. I might want to start refining some uranium right away again. So I don't want to run out of that. Let's see, how much time do we have? Uh, we still have four hours, it's good enough, but uh, I'm guessing it'll probably take four hours to refine everything that's in there. So... Uh, let's go up to our assembler and we'll start making some more steel plates because we need just a metric butt-ton of them. So, here we go. Steel plates. Eh, we'll make... I don't know, how many can we make? 500? Do we have enough? D not even close. So, we'll make around 200 of these and, uh... We'll start finishing off the floor on our on our little mining base. So 200 should at least make close to 10 blocks. Oh boy, I have a lot of mining to do in my future, I see. Anyhow, I think that'll be it for this episode. Next episode I'm going to try to be doing a lot of mining off screen. Um, and then we'll actually start finishing up the construction of this mining base. Hopefully we'll, at least next episode, we will make our reactor and our gravity generator. And then in the future, we'll start making the, re er, the refineries and the assemblers. And hopefully when all of that is said and done and our mining base is finished, we can start making capital ships. In, in fact, maybe next episode we'll take a break from building this and we'll start building a small mining ship. Because small ships don't require as much uh, stuff to be built. So maybe we'll do that next episode. Anyhow, that'll be it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.